Hey, what's happening? I am sitting here on my bathroom floor in a spot that used to be a litter box. Litter boxes are gross. Cats are cute, litter boxes not so much. Anyway, I've got the litter box completely out of the house now. It's sitting on the other side of this little hole. And when a cat goes through that hole, really cool things happen. I'm gonna show you exactly what those are, so stay tuned. Let's start with a really rough diagram. If this is the inside of the house and then below that is the garage, I have a cat door cut through the wall. Then I have a yard box sitting outside of that with two litter boxes inside and then I've installed a motion sensor plug in that yard box. Now on the outside of the house, there's an exterior wall, I'm piping out to a ventilation fan which is ran to a dryer vent on the outside and I installed a damper in line to keep air from blowing back in. So when a cat comes through the door, hits a motion sensor, turns on a light, and triggers the fan, and they all stay on for one minute. You're gonna wanna start with one of these big plastic yard boxes. You can get these at Home Depot or wherever. I put a link in the description as well. Now on the back of this yard box, I've cut a hole and you need to make sure that that hole is a little bit bigger than the cat door that you cut in the wall and you need to make sure that the position of this hole is positioned as such that it's at the right height to line up with that cat door so that when this sits against the wall that'll all work well. Now I'm going ahead and, and putting on just like some Gorilla Tape to protect those, those rough edges and after I've put on the Gorilla Tape I need to create somewhat of a gasket between this and the wall itself. Uh, the reason I need this gasket is that this box can't sit flush against the wall because then the lid won't open properly. Uh, so I'm using some pipe insulation and using the adhesive that's part of that pipe insulation and I just have them cut in a way where I was able to make a rough gasket that sits off the box, oh I don't know, maybe like an inch and a half or so. So when that's all said and done, I have a nice gasket here that's going to sit up against the wall. This is Butters the cat. He's pretty smart and knows how to use a cat door and how to push the little flap out of the way. On the other hand, this is Bandit. He's an idiot and can't figure out how to do that yet. So, while I'm setting this up until Bandit can figure out how to use that tunnel properly, I'm gonna to have to go ahead and make a little bit of a modification that I'm hoping I can get rid of later, and that's to take the actual flap on that cat door and tape it up out of the way. So all I'm doing is pulling out a piece of Gorilla Tape and taking that flap and just taping it up against the wall so that it stays in the open position. Uh, my hope again is that Bandit will figure this out and eventually be able to use the cat door as it's intended but for now, this will work just fine. So after I get this all taped up to the wall, you can see with the yard box slid into place, I have a nice good gasket there. Next step is going to be to install our LED lights. So I'm drilling a little hole here in the corner and I'm going to feed the uh, wires for my LED lights through that hole so that I can then glue my lights along the back side of this yard box. All right, here's the LEDs installed. Uh, this was just an old used strip of LEDs that I had laying around and I've got those plugged into a little 12 volt adapter. Uh, and as you can see, even when we close the lid, it is nice and bright in there. So that'd be great for the cats. Now let's get into how we're gonna automate this. And I got this motion sensor plug. Effectively, it's a motion sensor um, on the end of a six foot cord that plugs into the wall. And in theory here, the motion sensor will activate and it will activate anything plugged into that plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and uh, get it installed in the yard box so that when the cats walk in, those lights should turn on. This does have a timer that you can set on the back and I'm probably gonna set it to a one minute timer. So here we are inside the yard box. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to cut a little slot for that cord. So I just drilled a hole, grabbed a hacksaw, 
and then cut down so that I had a uh, slot for that cord to go through. Uh, I'm not making a super, super permanent type of connection here for this motion sensor. Um, I just want it to stay in place and I think gluing it will work just fine. So I wanted to make sure that notch was all nice and smooth so it didn't uh, disturb the wire. And then I went ahead and put that in place. I used a little strip of tape on the outside just to hold the cord down. And then on the inside, I'm just using some hot glue and I glued that sucker onto the inside of the yard box. And then I can run that cord up to the wall. So with that all in place, let's go ahead and give this a test and see how it looks going from dark to motion. So here we are inside the litter box and when I shove the reluctant cat through, he didn't really want to behave here, you can see that the motion sensor activates right away and the lights kick on and again those will stay on for one minute. So, so far motion sensor working great. Now on to the next step which is cutting a hole through the outside wall of my house. So using a four inch hole saw for this project, I cut a hole through the house and then I'm installing a dryer ventilation vent uh, onto the exterior of the house. Hopefully obvious, but make sure you have it installed correctly and use caulking on the tops and sides of the vent. Now I want the fan as far away as I can, but it has to be able to reach that plug because that's where my motion sensor is gonna be able to turn it on. I ultimately decided to put it kind of next to my water tank over here on the wall and to mount it vertically. Uh, and I know that I have a stud right there I can use for mounting at least one of the screws for the ventilation fan. So find the spot that works for you. Here's how mine turned out. You can see it coming off of the dryer vent into the damper and then the vent hose coming to the exhaust side of the fan. Um, now I just need to figure out the ventilation fan for the bottom. Do note that this pipe is really hot. If you're working around your water heater, that exhaust pipe is hot. It burned me, just be careful. Quick test with the fan on to make sure everything's looking good on the dryer vent. Those things are flapping out nicely. That's exactly what we want. If we get up in there and peer inside, you can see those damper flaps open as the air is pushing out as well. So everything's looking good there. Next step is to just get a hole cut in the side here. I didn't have a hole saw, so I used a jigsaw, but effectively I'm using one of these uh, duct uh, adapter things with the tabs that bend on the inside so that was a simple way to hook my hose up to this box. With everything in place I wanted to give this a sound test so I just reached my hand through pretending to be a cat and I'm running the original audio on the camera that's sitting inside the yard box here so I'll be quiet for a second. And hopefully you can hear that it is really a nice quiet fan. Uh, this fan I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. It seems to fit the bill pretty well for this uh, particular use. I just didn't want something that was really loud like a bathroom fan which tends to be really noisy. Uh, again I wanted something that I could mount a little ways away so it didn't startle or scare the cats. But really really happy with how nice and quiet this fan is. So here's what the project looks like pretty much finished. Uh, you got the yard box with the two litter boxes in there. I've got that motion sensor that activates the LEDs and activates the ventilation fan. It's using a four inch duct that's pulling out of that box up to this. Note I did upgrade these to hose clamps instead of duct tape uh, like you see here. And then that just ventilates through that damper and out the dryer vent to the exterior wall. All right, that's my project. Love it or hate it? Put your comments down below. Tell me how much you hate it and what an awful job I did. Whatever, I don't care. I try to get back to everybody that comments on my channel as best as I can. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please consider subscribing. That aside, as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.